Before you can calculate the efficiency, first of all you need to identify the energy transfers taking place. For example, we've got two light bulbs here, an ordinary light bulb and an energy saving light bulb. Electrical energy is going into these bulbs. The useful energy transfer is light energy and the waste unuseful energy transfer is heat energy. The useful energy transfer is represented by a horizontal arrow. The waste energy transfer is represented by a vertical arrow or sometimes you might see this as a curved arrow. Now that we've identified the energy transfers taking place, we can get ready to draw our Sankey diagram. So in the middle there we've got Sankey diagrams to summarize all the energy transfers taking place in a process. The thicker the line or arrow, the greater the amount of energy involved. So I'll just move that out of the way. I've left a box at the top here to sort of summarize that as we go in, and we're going to consider a normal light bulb. Right, so for a normal light bulb, we've already identified that electrical energy is going in, that we've got light energy is the useful energy transfer, and that we've got heat energy is the waste energy transfer. Right, so for this example, we're going to have 100 joules of, light, uh, of electrical energy going into the light bulb. This is going to be transferred usefully into 25 joules of light energy and 75 joules of heat energy. We also need to remember the thicker the arrow, the greater the amount of energy involved. So over here we had one, two, three, four, four boxes representing 100 joules, one box representing 25 joules, and three boxes representing 75 joules. So you can see that the thicker arrow for the energy transfers we've got is heat. This is thicker than the light energy, so we can see that just by looking at it, that a normal light bulb is not very efficient. For an energy saving light bulb, we still have electrical energy going into the bulb. The useful energy transfer is still light energy. And the waste energy transfer is heat. Energy saving light bulbs only require 20 joules of electrical energy. 15 joules of this is transformed, transferred into light energy with only 5 joules becoming heat energy. I'll put that information on the diagram. So we had 20 joules, 15 joules and 5 joules. And yet again the boxes do help us out here because you have 1, 2, 3, 4. So each box represents 5 joules. 1, 2, 3 and 1. And you can see just by looking at it that this will be more efficient because we have more useful energy transfer and less waste energy transfer. Once the Sankey diagram has been drawn, you can calculate the efficiency. This diagram is taken from a past GCSE question, but you please, 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 you must remember to use the data sheet. If you look at the data sheet, you will see the equations for efficiency. There's two of them there. Efficiency equals useful energy out divided by the total energy in. Please make sure you write that down when you're doing the question. So I'll just leave that in the corner there so we can see it. And let's have a look at this example. Right, let's identify the useful energy in. So we've got 20 joules over here, 16 joules down here, 4 joules over here. You need to remember useful is represented by a vertical arrow, so 4. So we've got 4 joules of useful energy, it also tells you on the question, divided by the total energy. Well the total energy is the 20. So 4 divided by 20 times 100% equals 20%. This is another example taken from a GCSE question, but this time there's no numbers. How do you work it out? It's simple. First of all, remember it's the same equation. Efficiency equals useful energy out divided by total energy in. And the easiest way to do this is just to count the squares involved. So we'll start off with the input energy. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So there's 20 squares. We've got the useful energy, 1, 2, 3, 4, and down to the waste energy, hopefully there'll be 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So there's 16. Just a quick recap of the question. Efficiency, useful energy out, total energy in. So we've got useful is 4, total energy going in is 20. 4 divided by 20 times 100 will give me 20%. If we go back to our original examples, this one, the normal light bulb, let's work out the efficiency. So we have the useful energy, 25 joules, divided by the total energy, 100 joules, times 100% equals 25%. Now let's work out the efficiency for the energy saving light bulb. Remember, you've got to divide the useful energy transfer by the total energy going in. So the useful energy transfer was the 15 joules. So 15 divided by the total energy going in, well, that's 20 joules. Multiply that by 100% to change it into a percentage, and the answer will be 75%.